Three stocks for January. Man, I have not done this series in a long, long time, many months. But let's get into it. And the first thing I gotta explain as I explain in all these videos is how I pick these stocks. And to pick these stocks and my whole strategy in general is all through the NASDAQ All-Stars. That's my trading system, my momentum trading system. And what it basically does is use an algorithm to rank all the stocks in the NASDAQ all by how much momentum they have. And then it gives you a list just like this, telling you which have the highest momentum and which have the lowest. And the actual number that we use to analyze this is called the TSI. It's the trend strength indicator. So you'll see right now, Tesla has the highest momentum in the NASDAQ. And not coincidentally, that is one of the stocks we're invested in because what we do with our system is rotate into the highest five momentum stocks each month. That way we're always with the stocks that are moving up the fastest, so we're making money. So the first part of the system are the stocks that it gives you, right? The way it ranks it, so you can be in the top ones. But the second part of the system and the most important part, way more important than the first part of the picking stocks, is how it helps you manage these positions. Because this system has a set of rules for when you buy, when you sell, and everything else that's all back tested. So you pretty much know what each buy and sell decision will give you over time, over so many trades. So instead of being anxious and confused, like, okay, it made 20%, do I sell here, what do I do? You're gonna know exactly what to do. And that's like the number one problem I had as a trader beginning out. So instead of being all anxious and confused, like, okay, it's up 20%, what do I do? Do I buy more, do I sell? Well, you're gonna know exactly exactly what to do. And those decisions are really the toughest part about trading. And it's what I struggled with as a trader and most other traders struggle with too. If you don't have a system like the all-stars, then it becomes tough. But anyways, this system is actually open if you want to check it out, but it's only going to stay open until Sunday at midnight. So if you want to learn more about it, then first go to this video right here, which I'll put a link to down below in the description and comments. And in this video, I explain all about the system. I mean, you're going to see it in action in this current video you're watching, but you'll see more of the background of how it works in this one right here. And then here you'll have a link to the system in case you want to sign up. Definitely check that out because the new year is coming and you want to be ready. You want to have your stuff together. All Stars can help you do that. But okay, back to the three stocks now that you know how they're picked based off momentum. First one I want to talk about is LAM Research, LRCX. And you can see right here, if we go to our momentum list, it is number three right now at a 21.09 TSI. So pretty high momentum. Now LAM we got in on October 1st. So right here, and it was October 1st because every month, the beginning, the first day of each month is when we're rotating into the new stocks. Now, as of right now, we're still in land because for the last few months, its momentum has kept up. Its TSI number stayed high here, and you can see that pretty much reflects what it did on the chart. It kept going higher. And you'll see right here that it had real good earnings, and on that earnings, it jumped pretty high. And it kept going up the next few days. So by here, 1028, we already had a 20% return on our position, and that's when we actually sold 25% of our shares. And again, this is one of the huge benefits of using a system like this because it tells you exactly when to sell. And in this case, we sold 25% of our shares because we hit a 20% profit. So we're taking profits off the table. And you'll notice that right around there is when the stock took a break. So there's a reason why we have that profit target at 20%. And that's standard across all the positions we get into. And we know that 20% number works. I mean, it's not perfect, but we know it works because we back tested this. Through enough trades, 20%, taking 25% of your profit out, has shown to give you good overall results. So you can see that after we took some profits, we left 75% of our position on and the stock kind of consolidated for a while. And now it looks to be running higher with the market. And I think that's a great way to do it because when the stock consolidated, it's not always guaranteed that the price is gonna keep going. So if you sold some shares here and this stock ended up collapsing below its 50 day right here, well then you would have been real happy that you took at least some profits. And then of course you still have a risk point to get out of the rest of your position so you don't give it all back. That's another thing this system does that it automatically moves your risk points up. So as soon as you hit your first target your risk point goes up higher too. It doesn't stay way below where you originally bought the stock. Because if you did do that well then you'd have that situation where stocks can completely turn around and you wouldn't get out. You'd end up losing all your profits. So all those little decisions are all standardized. It's very nice because those are the worst decisions to make in the heat of the moment. You want it all made beforehand. 
So as I said, this is number three on our list and we'll be holding on to it through January, as long as nothing bad happens in the next few days. Okay, next stock is Tesla, which as you can see here, which I showed you before, is number one on our momentum list. It is killing it. And I personally love when Tesla kills it because of all the bears and the Tesla Q crowd. They're so stupid. And to be honest, if it was my discretionary preference, I wouldn't even be involved in Tesla because it's such a battleground for bulls and bears. But hey, when the system says that it has great momentum and to get in, then I get in regardless of my bias. So we got into Tesla or the system told us to on 11.1 right here after the big earnings report and its big pop. You can see it went up some from there and then I think it dropped. I think this was the Cybertruck announcement where the windows broke, which I knew was short term, but our system didn't kick us out and it kept going higher. And this just recently hit our 20% target right here on the 16th where we took off 25% of our position again. And we don't take off the whole thing because we expect to go higher, which is exactly what it's been doing. So we're still making profits on 75% of our position while still putting some profits into our pocket. And you can see Tesla being at the top of this list will be holding on to this guy for a while, which I enjoy because I like supporting Elon. And here's another great example why a system works so well because it takes out the emotion. Tesla is one of the most emotional stocks with stupid people on both sides, bulls and bears. But the only time I'm in it, like I said, is when the system tells me to. There's no emotion involved, which is always a good thing when it comes to trading. Emotion is what screws you up. Next stock is K. KLA Corporation, ticker symbol KLAC. This one is now dropped to number seven on our momentum list. Now, as I mentioned before, I think we only hold five stocks in the portfolio, so we're usually only keeping the top five on this list. But there's some rules about when you wanna rotate, because you don't wanna rotate all the time. You know, like every time a stock falls from the top five, if you're rotating, you're gonna be rotating too much. And then you're gonna ruin your returns because you're not holding on to any stock for long enough. That's why even though KLAC is at seven, we're still holding Holding on to it and probably will into the new year as well. So we got into KLA Corporation back here on the 3rd of September and we've held from then and you see this chart is really nice. The only dip happened here, but we actually took profits right here at the top because our 20% target was hit. And once again, you see the stock dipping after that 20%. You can see there's some data behind why we chose that level, but we're still gonna hold on because the momentum is still strong in this guy. And we'll see what happens with the last 75% of our position. So from those examples you could kind of see what type of stocks the system picks and how it works now let me show you how it's done for this year so this year the all-stars is up almost 25 percent where the general market is up almost 36 percent so i know what you're thinking it's underperforming i must not be happy with it right but no that's not the case at all i'm very happy with it because here's the thing most of the time if you're trading in and out of stocks and managing your risk it's going to be pretty tough to beat a market that goes up this much especially if it's volatile like it has been because one of the huge huge things about a trading system is that you're not buy and hold. You're managing risk the whole time. So when I'm looking at this 25% versus 36%, sure, it's underperformance, but I also need to look at it as risk adjusted returns, which is very different because if someone is buying and holding, right, what's going to happen to them when the market actually turns for real? They're going to get crushed. But the big benefit of a system or a strategy is that it cuts off that lower tail. So on these dips, I've been knocked out of positions before. And by dips, I mean like throughout this year, you see these down periods, right? I've been knocked out of positions during those periods, but I'm not mad about it because I know that's my system working properly because no one can predict if this thing is going to come back or if this dip is really the start of a crash. That's why we have risk control. That's why we set risk points. So you can see why in a volatile market, if you're getting knocked out more, you're going to have lower returns. But again, that lower tail is cut off. So if I got to sacrifice some of my returns to make sure that my risk is controlled, I'm down to do that. Because look, it's underperforming this year, right? But look at how it's performed since 2007. The blue line is the all-stars and the red line is the NASDAQ. It's up almost 1200% versus the NASDAQ, which is up almost 400. So it's beating it by like three times. And the reason why is because it cuts off those terrible years. You can see here in 2008, when the NASDAQ lost 31%, the all-stars only lost 7%. And that makes a big, big difference when you look at 10 year returns. When you're cutting off those crashes, that changes everything. That's why you'll get such a large difference between these two returns. If you were buy and hold here versus this system. And you can see there's some years where the NASDAQ All-Stars blows the market out of the water. Like 2009, the NASDAQ was up almost 55%. All-Stars was up almost 80%. 2013, NASDAQ up 35%. All-Stars up almost 90%. But there's years where it underperforms too. 2012 was not a good year. Q's up almost 17. All-Stars down 
almost three. The thing is you gotta look at a system for the full cycle, how is it doing? And the full cycle is over many years and that's why back testing really comes in handy too. And just using a good methodology that makes sense like momentum. So the important thing to understand is risk adjusted returns. That's what you wanna focus on. But okay, if you wanna see the rest of our positions in the NASDAQ All Stars and want email and text alerts about every time we buy and sell, cause you know trade management is the most important, then make sure you go to this video and learn more about the entire system. I'll put a link to this video up above and down below. And here's where you'll get the link to sign up if you're interested. Do that now because this is only open until Sunday at midnight. After that, we're closing it down until summer at least. So if you're interested, get it, start paper trading and learning how it works. That way you're ready for the new year. There's a lot of great stuff you can learn from this system. System also comes with live coaching. That's pretty cool. But definitely check out that video to learn more about it. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell for email notifications when new videos come out. We're publishing all the time. So subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Stay foul out there. Bye.